Hi, I'm Lisa Davis, and I'm so glad to have Dan McManman back on the program. He is from CIP, and he's going to tell you all about it. Hi, Dan. Welcome. Hi, Lisa. Thanks a lot for having me. Oh, it's so nice to have you on. I've had the pleasure of speaking with your dad several times. Such a great guy. And I understand that you've taken over now at CIP. And for people who aren't familiar, first of all, what is CIP? Sure. Um, CIP is a post-secondary program for young adults on the autism spectrum and with learning disabilities or or learning differences, as we say. Um, So it's a college, career, and independent living preparation program helping students to be successful in their next steps as they move on post high school. Oh, that's fantastic. And so what happens is that this is located near different colleges and they'll go to the regular college courses, but then they'll go to you to get additional help in sort of navigating the world and and being a college and being away. What are some of the things that you offer to help them navigate this? Sure. Um, The majority of our students require a lot of help in social skills with things like executive functioning, which is time management, planning, organization. Uh, There's a lot of work with employment-related skills, so job coaching, job shadowing, career counseling, resume development. Um, Basically, we're providing a a really wide range of services that are individualized for each student uh, based on their needs. And I know you have things like executive functioning, and tell us some of the other specifics. Sure. Um, We have individual and group wellness sessions, so we get into diet, nutrition, and exercise. Um, We have individual and group um, social skills services as well, so we'll go out into the community. We'll pair students off with social mentors. Um, We do a lot of of pre-work in classroom settings, but we're trying to get them out into the community as much as possible so they can generalize those skills that we're teaching them Um, you know obviously that's when you can do that that is the best way to teach our types of students Um, academically we're providing tutoring study halls liaison with the college support staff helping them um, obtain college accommodations things like extra time for testing so we're, we're setting them up to be more successful in a variety of areas in their lives so that they have the best possible chance to to succeed. Oh, that is so fantastic. Now, where are your locations, Dan? We're in uh, western Massachusetts in the Berkshires, in Lee, Massachusetts. Upstate New York is Amherst, New York. And then we're out in Bloomington, Indiana, Melbourne, Florida, Berkeley, California, and Long Beach, California. Oh, that's so nice. Now, do you plan to expand to other college areas as well? We've been asked a lot about expanding to different areas. There's definitely a huge need for what we do, but um, right now we're primarily focusing on growing our summer programs as a way to sort of test the waters a little bit more about potential areas that we might consider opening in the future. Oh, tell us about some of these, about the summer stuff. Sure. Our our summer programs are set up, um, there's two age ranges. One is for high school sophomores up to seniors, and the other is for um, high school graduates up to the age 26. And what they are are two weeks on a college campus um, where you're learning basically everything but college academics. So you're going to learn what it's like to live with a roommate, how to navigate college, um, how to to successfully self-advocate in a college setting. Um, And then there's a variety of different fun activities mixed in, too, which helps um, impart more more skills through practicing what we're teaching them. Oh, nice. And I know that you are in Los Angeles now. Uh, Tell us what you're doing there. Sure. I'm I'm down here in in Long Beach area. Um, At the end of the spring term here for all of our centers, we have convocation and award ceremonies. So we take the time to celebrate all the student successes over the past year. Uh, the families join us. The staff join us. We do a nice formal event. Um, and it, it's just a great way to cap off the end of the academic term for our students and push them through their summer terms to, to finish up their years with us. Oh, that's so nice. What do you like most about CIP? And what do you hear back from uh, kids or young adults, I should say, who are in the programs? 
Sure. What I hear most back for, from families or from students is that they came in not knowing what to expect. They really didn't know exactly what they wanted to do in their lives. And when they left, they realized that that that's just the way life is and that you're going to constantly adjust and change and reassess. Um, so it, it's imparting a, a greater knowledge around how to successfully navigate life and learn the skills that are going to help you be flexible and adapt over time. Um, but more specifically with our students, a lot of them really like the social aspects. They haven't had opportunities to uh, make friends so easily or to feel supported in so many different areas of their lives. So that's really what we're, we're bringing to them through CIP. Oh, it sounds so fantastic, Dan. I really admire the work you're doing. Of course, you know I have a daughter with uh, NLD and PDDNOS and ADHD and now dyslexia. <laughs> like the list goes on and on, but it's all very spectrum-ish and learn definitely learning disabilities. And it, oh, it, you have no idea how much it warms my heart to know that if if she does go to college, if that's something she wants to do and you know, that there's programs like this. It's such a, a weight off the minds of parents like us, I, I, at least speaking for myself, and I can imagine for other parents and caregivers too. It is it is a big thing, and there's more programs starting up. It's There's more needs than ever now, and the awareness is really kicking up, which is huge. Um, so we're really happy to, to be a source of information for families and to really push the agenda um, in general through society because it's there's really a higher level of needs than are being met currently. Oh, yeah, I would definitely think that. Well, is there anything else you wanted to add today, Dan? I did want to add uh, that we have, um, that we're working on an educator's toolkit, which is to be published by Jessica Kingsley Publishers. Oh, they're um, fabulous. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jessica Kingsley, she's been great to work with. And October is our release date. And this is going to be sort of the first of its kind, um, fully featured toolkit to take CIP's methodology and approach and curricula and incorporate it into different educational settings, so high schools and colleges, and, and potentially even uh, parents can utilize this as a big resource. So it's a big 200-plus page spiral-bound educators toolkit, and we're working on electronic materials, too, to accompany it on the web. Where can people go to learn more about CIP and all the great stuff you offer? Uh, people can go online, uh, www.cipworldwide.org. Terrific. Dan, as always, love having you here, love promoting the wonderful things that you're doing. I'm so glad you came back on It's Your Health, and please say hi to your dad. He's such a gem. I will, I will. Thanks a lot for your time, too.